Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to create the build pipeline for an ASP.NET Core MVC application with a SQL Server database. For the database, we'll be using the database project that we have created locally inside Visual Studio. This project contains the changes to the schema in a SQL script. So building the database project will generate a DECPACK file that contains the new schema of the uh, database. CI and CD pipeline starts always with the source control. So here we need to publish our application, our application source code to GitHub or to VSCS. Here I'll choose to publish it to GitHub. For that I'll go to my GitHub account and create a new repository. I'll call it web app with database demo then create the repository once that's done here i'll check or i'll copy the uh, url for that repo then i'll use it from vs right here where i go to add the source code for my app into uh, github by selecting right here add so solution to source control i'll create some change here by removing the unused uh, using names and usings right here then here I'll go back to solution then commit these changes let's say here this is my initial uh, commit then select here commit all and push and here it will ask me where I want to publish my uh, source code so here I can choose either VSDS or github here I'll choose github selecting this option and here i'll paste the value for the uh, github repo then i select publish so this will uh, start publishing the source code to uh, github if i go back to github hit refresh then here i see that now the source code was published where here i do have both the web database and the web app project Next, let's start creating the CI and CD pipelines. Here, I'll be using VSTS Visual Studio Team Services to do that. So here, I'll start uh, in my uh, VSTS account, which you can create a free account. I'll go and create a new project. And here, I call it Web App with Database Demo. Then I go and click Create. Once the app is created in VSTS, I'll go to build and release and here select builds. I don't have any build yet, so I'll go and create a new build. I start with, with specifying the source code for my uh, application. Here I select GitHub. Then I need to authorize to use uh, github so that vsts can communicate with github to get the source code of the app and get notified in every time a new commit is um, committed to uh, github i'll select the repo and here i'll look for my web app with a database demo that i have created i select it then click continue and here I need to specify the template for building my web app and database uh, project. Here I'll start with the template for ASP.NET Core application, which I can find it here. Hit apply. So this will create this process that will use the hosted VS 2017 agent in order to build the web application. So all those tasks are for building the web application, which is an ASP.NET Core app. For that, it will start by restoring the, uh, the packages in order to, to get all the required packages. Then it will build the web app, run the unit tests. If we have a unit test project, here we don't have one, so it will uh, skip this task. Then it will try to publish the um, web app in order to generate the deployable packages and then it will uh, copy them inside the drop folder which will be saved inside the uh, VSTS so that it won't be deleted when the agent will um, will finish executing this uh, build 
so this is only for uh, building the web app now to build the project for the database i need to add a new task for here i'll go to, to this icon add then look for the task called ms build i can search right here ms build and that's this one right here so i'll add this task to my pipeline and remove it or i'll replace it or move it here to adjust before publish artifact so this task will build by default it will uh, build the entire solution but i don't need to build the entire solution instead i'll build only the database project so i can specify right here the path to my uh, database cs proj so i select my sql proj hit ok then by building the project it will generate the uh, duck pack file which will be used in order to be um, to be published to azure so i need to copy that uh, file inside the uh, drop artifact and to do that here I need to create another task call it copy the first one displayed here is deprecated so I can um, scroll down and see that here I have a new one copy files I select it and here it tells that it have some settings some required settings so let's um, check those and here the first parameter it needs uh, to to get is the source folder so here it asks which folder we want to copy if i click right here it tells us that specifying empty we look for the root of the uh, repo which is here the repo on uh, github but at that stage we don't have the duck pack the duck pack will be created using the previous uh, task which is the build solution and then it will be replaced or it will be uh, inside this folder right here agent.build directory because this one is the one used by default for the build uh, task so we want to copy the, f the uh, file from that source from the agent.build uh, directory then the content that we want to build right here is the uh, deck pack file and here specifying the uh, star star will means that it will try to copy all the content of this directory but here we only want to copy the um, file deck pack so here i specify the name or the file with the extension dot deck pack once that's done now we need to specify the target folder and for the target folder i'll go and use the build dot artifact staging directory why because that's the same uh, folder use it in order to uh, or use it from the task for publishing the artifact to get the everything that lives inside this folder and publish it to the drop uh, folder so again what we have done here is that we'll be uh, building the database project this will generate the duck pack file we'll copy that duck pack file from the agent build directory and we'll copy it to the folder uh, directory to uh, the build.artifact staging directory so that it, will, it could be uh, retrieve it from the publish artifact task in order to be published to the drop folder inside VSTS. Now we are ready to save and queue this pipeline, so let's do that. And let's check here this link right here, which will show us the uh, logs for executing or for running this build pipeline. Here we see that the uh, build pipeline was executed successfully. So if we go to the timeline right here, we can see the created drop folder. We can open it. 
we can expand it and here we can see that we have the web app the zip file for the web app which could be de deployed to Azure and also we have another uh, folder for the deck pack file which represents our uh, database project follow me in my next video in order to deploy the web app and the uh, deck pack file to Azure using VSTS.